Hello everyone, welcome to our channel where we are learning SMT know-how. Last time we have shared the quality control method and SMT defective videos together. For easy reference purpose, here we have separated the SMT defects video. So in today's video, we will discuss the different defects occur during the SMT production process. While making quality data, always remember first to define the standard defects name. For same defects, a lot of different names are used depending upon the inspector. Hence, we recommend first make standard terminology for defective names. This will this is very important as each defect creation reason is different. If wrong name of defect is written in the report, then analysis direction might be wrong. And in this case, we cannot take correct corrective action to solve it. Let's check how depending upon the inspector, different nomenclature is used for same defect. Solder shot is referred as bridge, component missing is called as no component, no joint is also referred as less solder, lift up sometimes called as pin no solder or no joint, tilt is referred as shift, misalignment, upside down is referred as reverse component, wrong polarity is called as re reverse polarity. Component shift is called as tilt, less solder, wetting issue, missing solder, sometimes no solder. Tombstone is called as component lift up, billboard is referred as wrong mounting. Maximum company not consider excess solder as a defect because the soldering is done properly. Let's check the different defects occur during the SMT production. First is missing solder. Here, solder paste is not available on the PCB pad. This defect is related to the paste printing process. It might cause due to the stencil aperture block or a foreign particle or dust on the PCB. This can also occur if the operator not refill the solder paste on the stencil mask. So if this defect occur, need to first check the screen printer. Next is solder shot. This defect is related to the mounting or a printing process. This can occur if shift printing or excess solder is there or a component mounting is shift. In case of fine pitch IC, solder shot defect may cause due to the PCP design. As it's difficult to change the PCB design by SMT person, we can control it by modifying the stencil design. We will share the stencil design guideline in our upcoming videos. Cold solder defect is related to the soldering process. It caused due to the less temperature setting at reflow oven. It occur when the melting of solder paste is not done properly. Maximum persons are unable to detect this defect. They call it as no solder or a dull shine. The less solder defect is related to the solder paste printing process. The amount of solder paste is not sufficient to make the proper contact between the component and PCB pad. The reason is similar to that of missing solder. Excess solder. As explained, many person think this is not a defect as due to extra solder, the soldering joint will be strong. But in case of fine pitch IC, excess solder causes the solder shot defect. Excess solder can also create a gap between the PCB and component. Component missing is related to the component mounting process. There are several reasons for component missing like wrong selection of nozzle, nozzle blockage, low nozzle suction level, feeder issue, no use of backup pin, etc. 
So whenever this defect occur, first check the points related to the vacuum line. If everything is okay, then verify the mounter setting. This is one of the difficult to clear defect from SMT. During our audit, one company shown the data with zero component missing within a month who have SMT experience will not believe on this. In SMT, one of the top priority is missing component means even though have perfect process cannot avoid it. Component shift is the most common defect in SMT. This is also related to the mounting process. In India, maximum company make the program by teaching method. This cannot guarantee the mounting in center. So we suggest to make program using XY position data only. There are also other reasons for shift defect like feeder, nozzle, filter, PCB design, etc. The next effect is component tilt. The component shift and tilt reasons are different. Many person uses component shift name for tilt effect. This defect occur due to nozzle wrong selection or nozzle blockage or low suction level. Nowadays, a lot of SMT companies are facing tombstone defect. Here, one terminal of component is soldered properly and another is left up. There are several reasons related to this defect like printing shift, mounting shift, use of RTS type of reflow profile, PCB design, etc. While taking any corrective action, remember that you should try one by one. Don't try changing all the parameters together. The difference between RTS type of reflow profile and RSS type of reflow profile is explained in our online training program. The next effect is lift up. Here the IC lead is not soldered with PCB pad. The most common reason for this defect is lead bend. While using loose component or drop component, the lead get bent which causes the lift up defect. Component upside down. Maximum time this occur due to the component flipped over in feeder during the index function causing the part to be picked and placed upside down. In case of no polarity component, there is no functional problem. But in case of leaded component, no joint is made with the PCB pad. Wrong component defect is the most serious defect in SMT. If not found the reason, total production can be wrong. Here the wrong type or wrong value of component is mounted. This occur due to the mistake in program or wrong spool selection by the operator. Sometimes it also occur if there is a missing component and operator mount this component manually before the reflow. This increases the chances of wrong component placement. In this example, instead of 100 kilo ohm resistor, 10 kilo ohm resistor is mounted. To avoid such happening, the operator should have knowledge of how to calculate the component value. At the end of the video, we have shared the link to know how to calculate the value of the components. Similar to that of wrong component, wrong polarity is also a serious defect in SMT. This can occur if wrong selection of component rotation in program. This can also happen due to the manual mounting before reflow. When change the component make and original reel direction is different, this defect can occur. The other defects related to the PCB are scratches here. The scratches is occur on the PCB during the process or 
in the original PCB. Then the PCB bent or warp. The PCB surface is not being flat and has bends. This occur maximum time after one side reflow. Overheat or blister. Here the ripples and overheat in the reflow oven and damaging in the components and the PCB occur. The defects related to the PCB is also explained in the PCB video. As explained earlier, the use of correct defect name while accumulating quality data is very important for analysis. If wrong name is mentioned in the report, the analysis path will be wrong. For example, in case of IC pin lift up, maximum person write no solder or no joint. Similarly, for cold solder, written as no solder. No solder means solder is not available on the PCB and if solder is not available means there is a problem while solder paste printing process which is related to the printer machine but actually the defect is left up due to the lead bend and that is related to the handling issue and cold solder is occurred due to the less temperature setting of reflow oven. Basically, in the SMT, defects are created due to the problems in three process that is printing condition, mounting condition and the soldering condition. Let's one by one check the defect related to the which process. In case of missing solder, it is related to the paste printing process. Solder shot is related to the paste printing, mounting, Sometimes it is related to the PCB design, lead bend, etc. Cold solder is related to the reflow soldering. Less solder is related to the paste printing process. Excess solder occurs due to the paste printing process. Sometimes it occurs due to the solder ball or a foreign particle on the PCB. Component missing is related to the mounting process. Similarly, component shift is related to the mounting process. Component tilt is also related to the mounting process. The tombstone might occur due to the paste printing process, mounting process, reflow soldering process. It also related to the PCB design and component make etc. The lift up is occur due to the mounting sometimes due to lead bend foreign particles upside down is related to the mounting process or spool wrong polarity is related to the mounting process or manual insertion process no joint is related to the paste printing process mounting process reflow soldering process Sometime due to the component PCB design. Billboard is related to the mounting process and spool. Every company quality team should provide training to all the inspectors regarding the correct name of the defects. Also, each SMD operator should understand each defect occur reason. Then only they can correct the process. Maximum time the defect occur in SMD is due to the basic skip. Hence, in our training program, we focus more on SMD basics. To become an expert in SMD process, join us with our online training program. For more queries, kindly comment below or write us at consulting at the red vipitechsolution.com. Get more technical updates at our web page at www.vibitechsolution.com. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching. Stay connected.